amazing in that sense that he has remained so curious and that he has been able to stay so open. He's he's that kind of actor who, if you do something that he's not prepared of, he gets excited and he responds immediately on that impulse. He, he gets that impulse and he, and he responds. And then it starts to become like music and then it starts to become fun. And, and, uh, and I think it would be hard being Robert Crawford to remain that open and that it should be easy to become a strong being in a big star in America. And he has definitely not uh, become that. He's actually one of the most open actors I worked with. Lena Olin was a leading lady of theater in Sweden for 10 years before she began doing American films. She was nominated for an Academy Award and won the New York Film Critics Award for last year's Enemies, A Love Story. And before that, she starred in the acclaimed movie The Unbearable Lightness of Being. That's where Havana's director, Sidney Pollack, first saw her. I was trying to imagine Redford sitting across the table from her, let's say, and, and I thought, well, I would really be interested in that, and I would say that she's a match for him. She's not going to be a, a, a young girl who's going to go, oh, my God, Robert Redford, and I'll do whatever you want, you know. For a moment, I was lost in a sweet place. He's a dream to an actor, because he's got all the technical knowledge. I mean, I, I, I think he's like a, 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 some military guy with the crew and with the technical part of it. And then he's like, he's like an angel with the actors. And he's so, he has so much compassion and he has so many ways to get into your souls. He uses every single trick of the book. He's just, uh, and he's always ready to change. And he's always, if you have second thoughts and if you, if you do see him, you, go back to your hotel and you, you start thinking, my God, I wanted to try that and I didn't dare to say it or he has to try it the next day and it's, it's, it's um, he's a dream. I thought she had a kind of originality. Uh, you couldn't take your eyes off of her. She's a woman. And so from the Swedish stage to starring opposite movie legend Robert Redford, Lena Olin is now appearing in her most challenging film to date, Havana. Are you waiting for me? All my life. And so, as Cuba crumbles, Jack is drawn into Bobby's world of the revolutionaries, and in the end, must choose between the greatest card game of his life and the woman he loves. I'm not doing this. This is somebody else. You got a cigarette? I came 200 miles after you without a cigarette. There's a very interesting combination there between these two, between Redford's very American, blonde, golden look and her dark, intense, slightly foreign look and feel and sound. And so this combination is kind of exotic, I think. Jesus, you can't live ideas. What's really going on happens before ideas, before talk. Before anybody says anything. Sydney is, without question, the most meticulous director I've ever worked with. As co-star Alan Arkin says, Havana's director Sidney Pollack demanded attention to detail, and that drew him into the greatest challenge yet of a career that's included films like The Way We Were and Out of Africa. What the hell's going on? No, it's a for Out of Africa, he won an Academy Award as Best Director. He was nominated for an Oscar as director of the hit comedy Tootsie. What Havana makes obvious is that Pollock enjoys working with star Robert Redford. The pairing of Pollock the director and Redford the actor has produced such memorable films as Jeremiah Johnson and The Way We Were. You want to change the world, Bobby? Change mine.